Hey, I wouldn't. This is love. This is love that was best here. I like to talk about using of stats vaguely the basics eh? but I know you can get that turn to my show but I feel this might be in using stats that if you're gonna use stats like let's see the black like let's use the police stats for instance like you're more likely your X amount of this is X amount of you're more like the, how blacks are more likely to be stopped by cops. This is the number here. That's X. X is the amount of t this number. Like I'm gonna say, hundred thousand people said that to, to, to say that other people, black people, are more likely to get stopped by cops. Now you gotta ask yourself, why is that stat there? Before you just say, well, that's racism. Because <laughs> cops are racist. No. Because we, and also stats on, we are 13% of the population, yet make up 50% of the crime. So, guess what? That is why we are more likely to get stopped by police. Plus profiling, and we're not the only ones who get profiled. With blacks get profiled, Hispanics get profiled, Asians get profiled. That no matter is, and in certain cases, white gets profiled again, depending on what. Status, your status is as a white person, because it's not all privilege. Not, not every white person's rich and got money. <laughs> oh, at least they got it easier. <laughs> no, I mean, to that to the person homeless, no, he got it easier than the average black person. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I mean, he's obviously got it easy. He's not no homeless. <laughs> he dead out no shelter. Gussing out in the rain, he obviously got it more better than anybody else. I guess I should be outside too. I'll be having a lot of privilege outside in the streets. Bullshit, white privilege. This is freaking stupid, the stupidest logic ever. But that's the type of statistics I'm talking about. This black on black crime statistics. It says black people are more likely to kill each other, which is probably true. I know it is true. There's a lot of black on black crime. Even in one area, it's a black on black crime all across the board. But it's highly concentrated in Chicago and in inner cities, in the ghettos. That's because the. Let me tell you something. It, of all the excuses. For black on black crime that there is. None of it has to do with white people. <laughs> None of it. <laughs> Not one thing white people were, didn't force these gang makers to come and shooting up the neighborhood. No. None of it has done nothing to do with white people. That means you can fix it. So stop acting as if you cannot fix it or it should be ignored. But if you truly cared about black people, you should go out there and try to fix it. You want white people to do it for you. That is the problem with government. To do it for you. You want the white people to do it for you. Do it yourself. That's why God put you on this earth. To do it yourself. <laughs> I didn't put you on this earth to be begging for somebody else's help. Now you can need somebody else. You need help. You ask for it. But you over there trying to guilt people into giving you help. It's unacceptable. We are strong people. We, we do not need help from people unless we need help from people. <laughs> and the way to ask for people's help isn't to call them racist, not to guilt them into white guilt or whatever crap you want to call white privilege. And that's not how you ask for help. You don't ask for help calling them racist. You don't ask for help calling them sexist. You don't call them extra for help call them every other name in the book. That's not how you call for help. You act nicely and politely. You don't do it by degrading your own race. By thinking that we need the help of some visible ghost. Okay, that does not exist. There is racism. Because 
Um, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was in the 60s, in the 50s, in the 40s, in the 30s, in the 20s, or the 70s. I think that the matter is, we have been blessed. Blessed with a unfortunate black person. <laughs> and I, 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 I don't not against a black, not black person. I just against the cause. Okay, you vote somebody in basically for racist reasons <laughs> and you want to know why racist hasn't gone away. <laughs> racist reasons. Yeah. Some of you actually voted for him because you thought he could do something but that stupid thing. Most of you voted for him because he's black. Yep. You know what I mean? It's the truth. You voted for him because he was black. But that's racist. <laughs> racist. Ask anybody, why did you vote for, give me one good reason why you voted for Obama besides color of his skin, I bet you can't give an answer. <laughs> Let's take out the color of his skin. Like my friend said, I'm going to go start calling me a black person, I'm going to stop calling you a white person. We know each other by our names. Now, most people don't know each other by their names, because those don't know each other, but it doesn't matter is. Obamacare, or should I say the Affordable Health Act, however you want to call it, they get offended because of Obamacare, they don't get offended, it depends on who says it. If it's a conservative who says it, they get offended. If it's a black person who says it, they don't get offended. It's weird. It's a double standard. It's hypocrisy. <laughs> either, either everybody can say it or nobody can say it. If, if George W. Bush made that act, they would call it the Bush Act, okay, the Bush Health Care Act. Any president who makes an act or a major bill that affects everybody, they always name the bill after the president. Most of the time. <laughs> but that is what it is most of the time. But this is going to be, I don't think I've gone too far off track. I'm talking about random issues instead of one singular issue here. Uh... YouTube stats, race. I always talking about race. Hmm, weird. Um, I do this unscripted, so better with me. I think be random. That's how I'd be more comfortable talking. If I'm here trying to read, and it wouldn't come across well. <laughs>